What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, we are on Chapter 5 or Part 5 in our series of the SSI Diver Stress and Rescue Program. Now, quick disclaimer before we continue, please do not use this video or any of the videos in this series to learn how to be a rescue diver. Our video series is simply a review series to help you guys pass your final exam. Make sure you're seeking out your or local SSI Diver Stress and Rescue Instructor before you go out and attempt a rescue. Now in Chapter 5, we're going to look at the different types of rescue techniques or rescue skills that you're going to learn. Of course, self-aid is going to be the first one. You're going to review all the skill sets that you learn in the open water program to deal with self-aid, such as a free flow and regulator, maybe dealing with a leg cramp or things like that. You'll even practice positive, getting positively buoyant at the surface while orally inflating your BC if, say, you had an equipment malfunction. But it's a simple review session of everything that you learned from the open water program that deals with rescue. Now the next skill set that you're going to learn, of course, is how to stop, think, and act. Or like I say it, stop, breathe, think, breathe, and act and breathe. You're going to be presented with several different skill sets out there where you're going to have to stop and think and act or work your way through this. And your instructor is going to present this in a manner that's going to help you learn, say, from the confined water area over to the open water as well. Now, the next skill set that you're going to look at, of course, is buddy assist. You're going to learn how to deal with a buddy who maybe just needs to be towed into water, or maybe you're dealing with a buddy who is having a panic attack while they're underwater, and you're going to learn the different skills and techniques that you need to safely rescue them, whether they're underwater or even at the surface. Now, the next skill set that we're going to look at, of course, is the buddy rescue, and there's several different things that your instructor is going to teach you how to do. Of course, you can search for a missing buddy, you can check on a buddy who appears to be unconscious, you can simply provide air to them, or you can assist them, say, if they've got a leg cramp, or maybe they're even entangled. There's several different techniques that your instructor is going to go over to make you a successful and efficient rescue diver. Now, the last skill set that we're going to look at is how do you bring a diver up from the bottom who is unconscious and some things that you need to consider. Maybe there is a safety stop that has to be performed or a decompression stop that has to be performed, or maybe you can bring that diver straight up depending on how long you were down and how deep you've been. Now, a couple of different things that your instructor is going to go over is do they have air in their mouth? Is the regulator there? Do they have air in their tank? And he's going to show you when it's appropriate to secure that reg versus not even worrying about it if the reg's not in their mouth. So make sure you're paying attention during this part of the course because your instructor is going to teach you how to keep yourself safe while doing it as well. So guys, that's going to do it for Chapter 5 of the SSI Diver Stress and Rescue Program. As stated before, please do not use this video or any of the videos in this series to go out to become a rescue diver. Make sure you're seeking out your local SSI Diver Stress and Rescue instructor to get properly trained. Simply use our videos as a review session before you take your final exam. But guys, if you've got any questions on Chapter 5, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it the best I can and as quickly as I can as well. Stay tuned. we got one more video in this series where we'll be looking at chapter six of the Rescue Diver program. Guys, until then, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.